I am Zoltan Nagy, the owner of Von Dorlatosh Malinois Kennel. First of all, I would like to say some words about the Malinois breed. The origins of this breed can be traced back long in time, and in the formulation of this breed the different shepherd dogs had an important role. By today they have become a very effective and above the average guard dog breed. The Belgian Malinois has become well known and popular and unfortunately, fashionable a bit. Many people, mainly those who does not know dog breeds very well, when they first see these dogs they compare them to German Shepherds. Although, of course, they are not German Shepherds, there are some similar behavioral patterns with the GSDs, but there are differences in their activity levels and their general behavior. They are more active and I can say that more instinctive than the German Shepherds, and because of these factors they are usually a little more difficult to be handled. The intelligence level of the Belgian Malinois in general is above the majority of other breeds. Basically there are four Belgian Shepherd versions, the Gronendale, the Trevuren, the Lacanoise, and the Malinois. These four versions are different from each other in their fur structure and in their character as well. For dog sports and serious guard work the Malinois is the most fit from the four and used widely all over the world. They are widely used in obedience, in agility, in IGP, in French ring and in Belgian ring as well. We usually offer these dogs to those people who can live together with this very high level of hyperactivity and who can work with them effectively to drain their energies. The reason for this is that if you skip this factor out then the Belgian Malinois will try to solve this problem by themselves and will pick up unwanted and undesired habits that are not good for anybody around them. Of course nobody want that his yard, furniture and other belongings are destroyed by a dog, which will definitely happen if a Malinois is bored. We have seen a lot of people who fell in love with this breed, but failed to give them what is required so that they become a balanced dog. These things should be handled by the owner, and if the owner is not capable of handling this situation, the connection between the dog and its owner will definitely turn to a bad direction. But on the other hand, if you can manage a Malinois well, then you will have a fantastic dog for the oncoming 15 years. This is the reason why I do not advise and offer this breed for those people who have many children and have few time to spend with the dog. If you buy a Belgian Malinois you have to plan with years of intensive and hard work when you formulate the personality of your dog. Most people think that they buy a dog and they will win some work contests within a year. Usually it takes more time and more energy than most people think. We generally say that if you have not enough time, energy and money for this, then you should choose another breed. In present breeding there are two lines that are somewhat different from each other, the so-called show line and the so-called working line. The show type of Malinois are closer to the breed standards and are taken to shows. In their case the working abilities and qualities of the dogs are not so important. Working line dogs are not measured by their outlook, the working abilities are the most important in connection with them, they are bred to work perfectly. I usually offer the Malinois only to those people who have former experiences with working dogs and, if possible, with training dogs. Those people are ideal future owners of this dog, who have the appropriate physical and mental abilities to live and work together with this strong-willed and energetic breed. If you choose them, the best is if you ask for the help of a professional dog trainer, or, if you regularly attend a dog school, and you learn the basics of dog training. It is no matter to what level you would like to get with your dog, a professional help would make your task much more easy. Sincerely, it is very difficult to get along with this breed alone, without any help. We have seen several cases when the owner tried it, but sooner or later they had to attend a dog school to finish training. We usually began the training of our dogs in an early age, when they are 8 weeks old. Of course this is a playful and short training, but we teach the basics for them early. Dogs are very sensitive in this age and learn very quickly. As they grow in age, we teach them gradually more and more in which, the extremely strong prey drive of the Belgian Malinois is a big help for us in motivating them. The Belgian Malinois is a very healthy breed and they can live as long as 15, but sometimes even 17 years in most cases. If you choose this breed as your companion and a friend, you will probably live with the dog for minimum 15 years. Of course we are talking about the status, when you give everything to your dog what is necessary to its health, including veterinary care, proper feeding and enough activities. 
Fortunately, dysplasia is very rare in this breed and of course among serious breeders the screening is taken seriously. You have to know that during trainings, sometimes injuries may happen with the owner, or with the family of the owner. As this breed has a very strong prey drive, this is one of the reasons why they excel in guard work, they do everything on a 100% energy level and with full heart, which can lead to injuries whether you want it or not. These are not caused by the aggressiveness or the malicious intent of the dog, but by their nature that they are very fast and agile, much faster than any human. Partly because of this, you have to take care if you choose this breed and you have small children. Working line Malinois dogs tend to play in quite a tough and hard way, and it can be harmful to a smaller child. So, you have to be cautious and take care to avoid any cases like this by all costs.